What's up guys, this is Kepis and I'm really excited because I'm finally ready to share with you guys the Gnome Sequencer macros that I've created for Legion 7.0. There's a new Gnome Sequencer that's out, created by someone who has done a very fantastic job in enhancing that mod. That's why it's called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. And I've also created a plugin of my own for the mod, consisting of all the macros that I've created for so far for a lot of different classes and specs. I've almost got all of them created, but there are some classes that I haven't been able to get down yet, and I don't know for sure if I ever will. I will continue to try, and I will continue to work on these macros regardless. But I wanted to get these out for you guys now. I know it's been a little, little bit of time since the patch has been out. It's been about a week, so I hope you've had a good time in the game, learning how to play your class, getting acquainted with all the changes, getting all the transmog. Even though I haven't really changed my transmog, I love the new transmog system, but I just cannot get enough of the transmog that I've always had. It's kind of become a signature for me. But anyways, um, I want to show you guys how to set up this gnome signature thing, so we're going to go out of game real quick and set that up, and then we will continue on from there. Setting up gnome sequencer is really simple. The first thing that you're going to need to do is download the mod, which is gnome sequencer enhanced, which you can find on Curse. I will have a link to this page in the description below. What you're going to do is download it just like any other mod. You know, you can either download it directly and install it manually, manually or you can download it via the Curse client. We'll just hit download and do it manually. And then obviously, I want to go back to that page in a second. So you're going to let that download, do its thing. It's downloading now. Love, love Google Chrome. Okay, so that's doing its thing. It's done. And then we'll come back to this page in here in just a second. Now, you'll download it. For me, it goes into my downloads folder. Here you go. Unzip it, just like always. Do that. Don't need that anymore. All right, and so you've got three folders. Obviously, you just take these folders, all three of them, and then you will paste them into your World of Warcraft interface add-ons folder, just like any other mod installation. That's how you do it manually. So now you've got GNOME Sequencer installed. The next thing that you're going to do is go over to the uh, Dropbox link, which is in the description below. The page will look like this, and then you will click on Download right here and that will download my plugin for gnome sequencer so then you go back you click on that you extract here just like before and you install it manually just like you would any other mod into world of warcraft interface add-ons bam and there you go now you've got gnome sequencer along with my plugin with my macros installed and that is all that you have to do to install the whole modding situation and you're done so then you can go back into the game. Before we do, I want to show you one more thing. If you have any more questions about Gnome Sequencer, like you want to learn more about it, he's the author of the mod has provided a few really useful videos. Uh, he's got all kind, like four or five different videos you can learn about. Just the basics of Gnome Sequencer, how to use it, how to set things up, how to make your own macros, all kinds of stuff like that. This is very useful. I learned a lot from this. This guy did a fantastic job on the mod. I'm very thankful for all the changes. It's made my life a lot easier. And of course, if you have any questions about Gnome Sequencer, you're having issues like trouble, don't uh, post on my videos because I'm not the mod author, so I really can't fix a lot of the problems that you might have. I know that it's technology and mods and there are always just weird issues that happen. If you follow the steps that I just did correctly, then you shouldn't have any problems. But in the event that you do have a problem, I understand things can happen. Just come here and, and maybe submit a ticket to the mod writer, leave a comment, ask for help. Maybe he can help you out better than I can because this is his mod. He knows what he's doing. I don't. I just make macros. So just keep that in mind. If you have any issues, bring it to the mod author. You can also go to wowlazymacros.com. They also have macros there, and maybe they can help you out as well. So that's how you set up Gnome Sequencer. Once you do that, you're ready to go back in game. Okay, so now that you've got Gnome Sequencer set up outside of the game, you've got it installed. You'll know for sure, by the way, if it's installed, if you go into uh, add-ons, and you scroll down, you know, like how you check your add-ons, you'll see that it is installed. You'll see usually four checkboxes. Uh, uh, Drake's uh, bundle macros, Gnome Sequencer Core, my plugin that you downloaded from Dropbox, and then, of course, sequences, Sequence Editor. Those are the four things you should see. I have Drake's turned off. That's only because I like to use my macros, but if you want to use his... Uh, the mac uh, the the uh, I should say the, the macros that he's added in is in the mat in the mod itself. Yeah, words are hard. Uh, you can you can actually use both, so that way you'll have access to even more mod uh, macro options. So you can do that as well. Now, basically, the way it works is once you've got the mod installed, you've got checkboxes on, everything's working fine, everything's on. You need to make sure that you're in the correct spec to get the macros. Because what I used to have you do, if you remember, you'd go into macros and you would see 
that there, there's no macros here. Well, there's one macro that's for protection paladin, but right now we're in retribution spec. Um, but uh, normally I just have you hit create a new macro, you'd name it, whatever I tell you, and then the macro pops up and it works. You don't have to do that anymore. You can see that there are no macros here. All you have to do is make sure that you're in the correct spec uh, for whatever macros, for whatever spec you want, and then log in and type in slash GS. When you do that, You'll see some text down there in the chat bar. I like how I'm actually physically pointing at it as if you're here in the room with me because I'm silly like that. But anyways, you'll see some uh, text down here in the chat bar. And then up here in your macros, you will see that three new macros have been created. Now, that's what's really helpful about this mod, so it's easier to do. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at this text here real quick. As you can see, there's some information that's provided whenever you do this. Uh, if you don't see this text and no macros pop up, something went wrong, try to re-download the mod do everything like I showed you in the video a minute ago and try again if that's not working maybe contact the mod author and talk to them about it go to you know like I told you in the video earlier but anyways you've got GS core let you know it's a macro um, the green text is ret, uh, ret uh, let's use this bottom one because it's easier ret s is the name of the macro then the white text this is kind of like a description of the macro retribution is single target macro okay the numbers next to that are the talents that you should choose. Now, you usually can choose whichever talents you want. These are just the ones that I was using when I created the macro. I just looked, type, wrote, typed them down, and went on about my day. So, you know, I might change these over time. It really doesn't matter. A lot of times you can use whichever ones you want. Uh, it just depends on whether or not they're included in the macro, but we'll get into that later. Um, and then it's Paladin Retribution, let you know what class and spec it is. And then the blue text is... Uh, Contributed by Kefas, which is me. So let's let you know that the author of the macros is myself. So once you you know you see that you're good, um, and then up here you've got the macros. So you've got uh, we'll just take the Ret S macro, put it down on the action bar, and then the Ret A macro, and we'll put that down on the action bar as well. And that's all you have to do. Now, obviously there are a lot of classes and a lot of specs. I haven't managed to get all of them, but I've gotten quite a few. Some of them are more. Uh, simple to do than others. Some of them can manage more than others, so there are some that you're still going to have to do some other like management outside the macro with some certain abilities. Um, I can't cover all that in one video, and so it's going to take a few days, maybe through the course of the next week or two. Definitely before I can promise, that I well I can't promise, but I'm going to try to make sure that I get all this out to you information wise in videos before Legion launches. So I've got between now and the end of August to get all this out for you, but hopefully I can get it out for you within the next couple weeks if I get these videos out there. It shouldn't take too long. Short videos explaining how these macros work for you. That way you'll understand them. But anyways, uh, if you want, like, I'm going to release this for you now. You have, the, you have the download links in the description. You can start using these now. Um, but obviously it might be a little confusing because these were made by me. There aren't any instructions or anything like that, but what you can do to try to give yourself kind of some ideas of where the macros are headed, like what, how they work, what abilities they take care of for you, you can type in slash GSSE. And then what you can do is like when you see this will pop up, there'll be a drop down here and then you can select one of these macros. There are a lot, but you know that as a Ret Paladin, you're getting Ret S, Ret A, and Ret S, J, V. So let's look at Ret S, okay? Now this looks really confusing, right? This is what the macro looks like in the Lua file. You can't, you can mess with it here. You can like experiment with it. You can click edit and change a few things, but that's only going to create a tempor temporary macro. When you log out, that macro goes away. But if you wanted to make edits and changes to the macro, you'd have to go into the Lua files. But what you can do at least is get an idea for what is in this macro. So if you look here, all this top information is just the name of the macro right here, my name, the the spec ID. That way, it, it's, that's how the GNOME Suicos recognizes what specs the macros belong to. So that way, it's not adding too many or whatever. Um, that's when you type in slash GS, it knows that it's a ret macro. It'll add all the ret macros. Uh, then you've got uh, help text. That's where it's just the description and then the talents uh, icon is where I set the icon for you that way you don't have to set it then when you create the macros it automatically sets like this one is the final verdict icon I kind of missed that icon so I just use that uh, then this is where it gets interesting where you see see where you see where it says pre macro the information between pre macro and these two brackets right here you'll usually see target enemy no harm dead uh, in the case of the rep paladin you're gonna see avenging wrath this is usually where I put cooldowns so, or it's where I put like certain like 
out of combat things like uh, you know cooldowns. Sometimes I'll put like uh, shape shifting in here, like for druids where you can shape shift into the correct form. Uh, rogues, I might put stealth if you use stealth uh, out of combat. Um, I'm trying to think of some other unique examples where this would be uh, something different, but something to that effect. Not really a part of the rotation. Usually it's abilities that are uh, off the global cooldown kind of things. I'll usually put those here. Sometimes I might put them down here in post macro. This is usually where I put uh, trinkets. Uh, but anyways, that's usually where cooldowns usually go between either in pre-macro or post-macro. If the cooldowns aren't in there, like for example, Death Knights, I don't put in Power Rune Weapon because of how that works. That requires significant intuitive thinking to use that effectively. So that's not in the macro. But regardless, what you really want to look at is what's between these two brackets here and post-macro. These are all the spells that this macro is going to take care of. It uses a sequence system, so it'll hit one, two, three, four, and then it'll or hit one. And if it, if one is our own cooldown, then it'll hit two. If two's on cooldown, then it'll hit three. That's how it basically works. So it'll take your in this case, it'll take your judgment, execution sentence. If you have that talent, Templar's verdict, Crusader strike, Blade of Justice, and Wake of Ashes. Which of course, Wake of Ashes isn't in the game yet. That comes in Legion with the artifact weapon, but regardless, it's in there. So basically, what this macro is going to do is it's going to follow it in this priority system. Um, a lot of the macros and like the way I learned how to play classes, I use WowLazyMacros.com, which has improved significantly since the start of the the pre uh, patch, where they were getting a lot of fire because they were just trying to get things out there quickly for people, trying to get something out there, and the guides weren't really well appreciated. So a lot of the high-end raiders came and helped out so they could help fine-tune those rotation guides, and they've gotten a lot better since then. So I've tried my best to follow those guides the best I can. Um, of course, these macros are a work in progress. Keep that in mind, too. Uh, but you'll get an idea for what spells you can use. So in this case, you know that basically this macro takes care of everything. Uh, whereas if you go and look at the uh, Ret A, you'll notice that Templar's Verdict is gone and it's been replaced with Divine Storm because it's basically all the rotation is in terms of uh, being different for uh, Retribution. So that's basically how that works. And then if you go to Ret SV, you'll see that it's a single target rotation, but it's included Justicar's Vengeance. I'll explain that when I get into the Retribution video uh, here in a little bit. Uh, maybe tomorrow or something. But regardless, that, that basically will give you an idea to understand, you know, maybe what this is for, you know, how do the macros work, what abilities are they going to help me take care of. Because then when you get to, like, I'll give an example, when you get to Feral Druid, uh, it's different. So, like, we'll look at this Cat S, which is, you know, Feral uh, S. I should have made it Feral, but I thought Cat was a funnier name. But anyways, you'll notice here that in this one, for example, it, it'll turn you into Cat form. You're looking at pre-macros. It'll do Cat form. It'll do Prowl when you're out of combat. If you're not already in those forms, it takes care of Tiger's Fury and Berserk. Those are your two DPS cooldowns. And then it does a cast sequence, which is not the same as what it was before because of the way the Druid works. It's going to cast rake and then shred three times and generally if you have the right to a uh, talent selected uh, because of the there's a talent that will speed up the dots that is usually the rhythm that you're going to find that you're going to follow it's not perfect that's the point none of these macros are perfect but as you can see there are other druid abilities that aren't in this macro because it wouldn't work if you put combo point spenders in the same macro as combo point builders so you're going to have to manage those abilities out side of the, uh, the macro. So that's something that you need to think about. So when you look through these, whenever you pick your spec, just take a look at what the macro looks like. You can also look at this through the Lua files in the macro, um, like in the folder that I gave you. You can look at them in there as well. If you have Notepad++ or I think Atom or something like that, those will make it a little bit easier to look at. But as you can see, uh, there are a lot of different uh, you know styles of, of how these macros are created. This is a uh, Beastmaster Hunter. This one has Cobra Shot included. Um, this one does not have Cobra Shot included. The reason why, of course, is you don't want to starve yourself, so it's a good idea to have a couple of macros, one with Cobra Shot, one without. That way you get the priority system out, but you don't starve yourself of uh, focus. So, you know, just some examples of things that you can take a look at. Um, and, of course, and keep, rest assured that over time I will add little guides, at least for now. And, obviously, when, uh, you know, I'll keep working on these, uh, just like uh, the... the um, the other mod authors, the uh, the Drake's macros, that, which were included with the mod, you can check those out as well. Those are created by the fine folks over at WowLazyMacros.com, and the mod author has taken it upon himself to kind of gather up a bunch that he thinks might help you out some. You can try those out as well. Obviously, I'm not using those, but you can try those out. You can learn more about those macros if you go to WowLazyMacros.com, and you can use mine. And 
like I said, with it, as soon as I can, I'll try to get as many guides out as possible. And then when Legion comes out, um, I'll start to work on those guides at 110 when I get the artifact weapon and I have all the resources available to understand how those rotations work. And then I'll create macros and try to fine tune them the best I can and, uh, you know, get those out. So we'll do the traditional guides. I'm probably going to do class guides and macro guides separate from now on because I think class guides kind of cater to a certain, uh, audience and then the macro guides cater to a different audience that way it gives me you know plenty of content to go through people like my class guides I'll try to do the best I can to get as much accurate information as possible I don't want to misinform anybody and as for these macros this is what I want to say about the macros understand that when I make these macros you're I am a person who is visually impaired and I use macros to help me play the game better when I create these macros what I do is I go up to a target dummy I read guides online and learn how to play the class the best I can and then try to perform that rotation with all my buttons on the action bar looking at it very closely and trying to follow it and looking at my SCADA meter and seeing how I do and trying to understand how those mechanics work it is up to you to learn your class mechanics with or without macros you should know how to your class works if you're playing a retribution paladin and you just start using macros and you don't bother learning how holy power works and you don't bother learning how your talents work and what the difference is then you are doing yourself a disservice and you're also doing the people that you play with a disservice when they depend on you to perform at a higher level so it is your responsibility to learn how you how to play your class i have never taken any position that's different from that since i've been playing this game i believe that everybody is responsible to do the best that they can I raid with the team, they understand that I use macros, but they know that I'm not going to use my vision as an excuse to have a lower performance. If my macros aren't performing well, then either I pick a different class, or I get those macros to work well, or I do something else entirely. So that's that's my stance on it. If you're going to perform at a higher level, if you're going to do mythic raiding, mythic dungeons, raiding of any kind, and you need to hit a certain DPS uh, quota or whatever then that is your responsibility to do that if you use one of my macros and you're only pulling 10k dps because the macro hasn't been perfected yet or whatever and and everybody else is pulling 50k dps then that is on you i will give you a disclaimer up front these macros are still a work in progress some of them will work better than others some of them will still need work that's always the way it's always been and they will never be as good as someone who can perfectly do the rotation uh, the quote normal way so keep that in mind as well the game especially now requires a lot more intuitive thinking and planning with the rotations there may be fewer buttons which is good because it's less to keep track of but you still need to know how to hit those buttons at the right times for the right reasons on the right circumstances and all that kind of stuff every class mechanic is different so it just depends on the class but you need to know how to play your class that is your responsibility so I want to encourage you guys learn your classes but I will do the best I can to make them more accessible for you over time that is my goal and I will work really hard at that through Legion and continue to work at that because I love this game and I love to make things more accessible. I want more people to be able to play the game and enjoy it the best that they can. So use these, uh, work with them, try to learn, and I will continue to work at them and get more guides out for you as soon as I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that this maybe will make things a little bit easier for you so that you can play. If you really do depend on these macros and stuff like this to work, I hope that this will help you out. So thank you guys for watching. Be patient with me as I get these uh, more details out on each class and spec and the macros that I've created. And I will continue to work at them throughout Legion and the days to follow and the weeks and months to follow so thank you guys for watching thank you for your patience and thank you for supporting this channel because it means a lot to me that i've been able to help out so many people that's what i love to do and i appreciate that so thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day this is kefis until next time